It's 3.42, but afternoon practice means afternoon hunger. If I'm dancing and I'm hungry, I eat a Snickers, and then I can dance again. The first step is eating the Snickers bar and getting rid of my hunger so I can get on to the next step, which is playing ball. You know, my mom will keep Snickers in the cabinet in the kitchen, you know, and I'll go get one, and it fills me up, push me through till dinner. Snickers, crunchy peanuts, peanut butter, nougat, caramel, and milk chocolate. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Packed with peanuts, Snickers really satisfies. Snickers really satisfies you. On an August day in 1988, an historic event took place. It didn't happen on Main Street or in any American town, but in Russia, where soldiers began destroying hundreds of nuclear missiles with the understanding that we'd destroy some of our own, the first disarmament treaty of its kind. And though most Americans were unaware of the significance of the moment or realized it was George Bush who led the way, someday their grandchildren will. enough hours in the day when you have to be a grown-up? Introducing the sidekick from Suzuki. If you're looking to get oat bran into your diet, look here. Cheerios. It's the only leading cold cereal made from whole grain oats with all the oat bran. Look, oat bran is what you want. And Cheerios has it. We felt it was time you heard from a pharmacist who still doesn't recommend Drixoral for 12 hours of cold relief. But he is out with a cold. Drixoral, the pharmacist favorite. As Governor Michael Dukakis vetoed mandatory sentences for drug dealers, he vetoed the death penalty. His revolving door prison policy gave weekend furloughs to first degree murderers not eligible for parole. While out, many committed other crimes like kidnapping and rape, and many are still at large. Now Michael Dukakis says he wants to do for America what he's done for Massachusetts. America can't afford that risk. At a special preview of an ABC motion picture, the audience spoke out. It touched my heart. In a very moving movie. It gives you hope. It's making me have a lot of feelings. Something like that could go on. Based on a true story, David, Tuesday.